On January 25th, 1921, 100 years ago, a play debuted at the National Theater in Prague that introduced the idea of robots. The dystopian human replicas from that work have evolved over the last century through science and pop culture to become invaluable drivers of our everyday lives. NBC's Jacob Ward has our Sunday Spotlight. Crush. Yo, KR2? I'll be back. They've captured our imagination for a century. Bad human. Machines made in our image and to travel beyond our world. The Czech playwright Karol Čapek invented the term robot for his 1921 play Rossum's Universal Robots. A man builds android servants that think and feel. And hey, surprise, they rebel and wipe out humanity. The play traveled the world and changed it. That play was in some ways meant to be a moral critique of automation and mechanization taken to an extreme point. But it doesn't take long before engineers and scientists go, hey, we want to make one of those. So people actually take this idea out of a play and make it real. I am a smart fellow. Westinghouse built this guy, Electro, for the 1939 World's Fair. He told corny jokes and smoked cigarettes. By the 1960s, robots were a little more handy. And in 2000, Honda debuted the two-legged Osimo. Amazing for its time, but still not all that useful. Today, robots are delivering on their promise. What we can do technically in terms of making an object move, making an object engage and interact is extraordinary. At this point, you couldn't keep them out if you tried. They drive our cars, fly our planes, even fire our weapons. We're still haunted by the nightmare that they'll take over one day. I'm sorry, Dave. But it's what we choose to do with them that matters. I think part of the fear of the robots is actually a fear of ourselves. And of, you know, if we distill the robot down to our essence, you know, what is actually that essence? Residents at Independence Court of Quakertown weren't sure about this cutie robot at first, but with video calls and classes, it's helped them stay active and connected. Once they started kind of getting used to it, they would ask me, oh, when is Tai Chi? Is Tai Chi tomorrow? Especially now that the pandemic makes human visits too dangerous. Everyone has been scared all year. Um, and lonely. So I think that, you know, the most important thing that we can do is make sure our residents know that we care about them and that we'll do anything that we can to keep them safe and happy and engaged and connected with their families. It's a reminder that we should build robots for the kind of world we want to live in. No, it's a cute little apparatus. You know, what do you call it? <laughs> a robot. A robot. For Sunday Today, Jacob Ward, Oakland, California. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.